What are you doing? Be nice to the baby. Be nice to the baby. What are you doing? I'm gonna blow some stuff in your ear. Some stuff in my ear? Is that gonna be helpful? Yes. How? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Wait, wait. Ah! Ah! So silly. This is why you don't leave your camel back in reach of your children. Can you say hi, Santa Claus? <laughs> I want to blow up your ear. No, once was plenty, but thank you. Blow in your ear. <laughs> no, once was plenty, but thank you. Blow in your ear. No, 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 no. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. This is Coach Jim Kev, another mother wrote a train like a mother club. This is www.trainlikeamother.club. We're about to do foam rolling in a few minutes. Special reindeer and Santa Claus version of foam rolling because my son has decided that I need to be Rudolph and he's going to be Santa Claus. So I think that works. You still going to help, bud? Yes. Yes? I got your back. Okay. You okay. Wait. Ride on your back. You want to ride on my back? All right. Let me get. Yes, 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 yes. You ready, Shiloh? You cannot leave this on the floor with the baby. You cannot. Either you hold it. You can't put it down, got it? <laughs> Take it. <laughs> that is that your new hat? Hi. <laughs> Baby. Mm. Mm.
Wait, no, dude, no, dude. No, no, no. RJ, if I say no one more time, you're going straight to bed. Squish you? No. Are you sure? Because I will sit on top of you if that will make you happy. No. Cool. No. I'll be Santa. Well, I need you to be sleepy. Mm -hmm. I'm super sleepy. Are you? Then can you prove it and go sit on the couch? Mm -hmm. Thank you. tomorrow if I feel better and I'm not totally wound up after we come back from um, from the zoo um, I might stream I might not Let's, don't count on it but if you're following me and you see that push notification go live that means I'm here same thing for Wednesday Wednesday I'll probably be late but assuming I feel better and if I don't feel better by Wednesday God bless us all yeah, the Santa hats came from uh, they were an impulse purchase at Safeway um, but it's been fun. They, they jingle, so I know when the kids are up to something because I can hear the jingles throughout the house. They, they've learned not to touch the shoes. No one wears the jingle shoes but mom. Yay! So a quick note to people in my monthly plans for another Mother Runner. Um, this, obviously, this is the last month of them. And I know I've talked about money a lot and probably so much that I've driven you guys crazy. But I, one, I really don't care because I've, I've asked for feedback on these programs for the past two years and all I have heard is something, something, the price, something, something, discount code. 
So I'm like, y'all want to talk about money. It's like when I do, you don't get to shut your ears off. So there's that number. So what I'm going to talk about is getting your money's worth out of the monthly plan for the month of December. A lot of you, um, I've been looking at, I, I feel like you're looking at what we're doing incorrectly. In the monthlies, the whole idea is to have a plan, have some group motivation, and to keep going. So I feel like a lot of you think, I didn't run today, I'm throwing my money away. Because that's what we do when we join a gym, right? We join the gym and we think if I come, the more I come, the cheaper this membership is. And then we beat our, we berate ourselves and say every day I don't go to the gym, I'm not getting my money's worth. So when it comes to the monthly plan, you guys get really worked up every day. You don't run because you see that as money wasted, money thrown away. I would challenge that notion a little bit for the rest of the month. It's not about the plan. It never was. If it really was, you could have downloaded a plan from the internet from people way smarter than me that have been doing this running thing arguably longer and are more educated. But you're not. You're here, and you're probably here because we've done something that kept you more consistent than you've ever been, more injury-free than you've ever been, and hopefully it's been a little bit more interesting than everything you've ever done before. And for a lot of people in the monthly plan this month, this is the first time you've ever seen it, and you're like, I wish I'd known sooner. There's a reason. It's not about the runs. It's not about the plan. It's about my enthusiasm, this community, the reminders here on Twitch if you want them, the Facebook Lives, every once in a while, but... Without, without hitting that saturation point where you just turn off all the notifications from Facebook. It's trying to find that balance of keeping you engaged without making you feel overwhelmed, which is really what we need over the holidays more than anything else. So put the plan aside and think of it this way. Every day this month that you are either engaging with me in office hours, on Facebook, in Ask the Coach, here on Twitch, in the podcast, anywhere, you got your money's worth. All you need to do is engage. It's not about the running and it never really was. It's about keeping that tethered to running so a bad day doesn't derail you. You've got a reminder and a starting cue to come back because you know that thread is going up tomorrow and you might want to have something to say in it in the Facebook group because you know I'm going to be here doing strength and you want to be able to come here and complain about how hard it is because the strength is about this and the hard. You're welcome. So I know there's been a lot of consternation about like this is happening, that's happening, I'm busy, the run isn't happening. That's okay. That's even cool. Let yourself off the hook. That's not what you paid for. You paid for the option to get up and try again tomorrow and all the support you in the world you would need to make that happen. And I think if you look at it that way, you see you've been getting your money's worth all along. It's not about what you execute. It's about the statistical probability that you will. And when you have a coach and a plan and a group and accountability of any kind, you literally have everything you need to get the job done. Except maybe a little bit of intrinsic motivation. And another thing in the monthly plan is I've wanted you, yes, but you cannot play with the baby on the stairs. We don't encourage the baby to climb the stairs. There's a little bit of intrinsic motivation to keep going without the pressure of a race on the calendar. Um, there are lots, we have more options if we keep moving and don't stop. So that is really what we're doing and that's what you're buying. Um, you're buying an option and it's a really good one. Options have value until exercise or expiration. That's so a pretty basic financial function. And so I, I, I get it. You, you could look at this as though um, you know, you have, uh, I haven't been doing this, therefore I don't need to buy it again. Or you could be like, you know, every time I come here and have something and a group and a coach and whatnot on all the, all the structure to engage with, that's a tether. And what you're paying for is not, not the option to do something that you need to actualize or cash in. What you're paying for is that tether that's, that's going to keep you coming back. Right, because when you've gotten to the point that you're not doing the workouts, you don't want to talk to me anymore, you don't care about the community, you hate Twitch, you don't read my emails, you don't listen to the podcast, and you have chosen to turn off every potential pathway to engage with me, then I would agree. You clearly hate everything about this and you don't belong here. And we have a lot of people like that in the race plans, where they buy this really expensive thing and then don't read any of the paperwork that came with it and don't listen to the podcast because they don't listen to podcasts and... They don't ever set up for office hours because they don't know how because they don't read the emails. And at the end of it, they're like, well, I didn't get my money's worth. And I'm like, well, you got to do, like, what did you think was going to happen, man? Like, there's not a coach alive that chases people and begs them. I do way more than most coaches I know, which is not a disrespect to other coaches. It's just like, we need to, we need to make expectations really clear, right? There's a, there's a little bit of onus on you to do some work. 
And that work is just show up. And that work does not necessarily involve getting the run done. It means showing up here, showing up in Facebook, showing up somewhere, saying hi, asking questions, and trying to get involved. Because as long as this tether is here, you are more likely to work out tomorrow than, if, than otherwise. Right? Because if you can't do it with all of this, then we just need, all we need to do is just ask, throw it out there. What can we do? I've not been getting the work done. This has now become consistent. Right? Otherwise, who, having that place to come, again, and ask that question, you're getting your money's worth, I would argue. So, because God knows I had none of that during my year in bed. Um, and my coach really wanted to spend most of her time talking to her healthy athletes. She didn't know what to say to me. And that's okay, and that's fair. But now that I've been in bed for a year, I know a whole lot about motivation. I know a whole lot about how important that tether is. And I know how hard it is, because I'm living it, to get started on a really cold morning when you're a little out of shape and you're going to be running more slowly than you want to go. Okay? So, all that just to say, you have everything you need. And if you're here watching this, then you're already using it, way to go. But if you're watching this and you haven't run today or even yesterday, well then you shouldn't run into the wall, sweetheart. That's real easy to fix. I love you. Just know this, you were coached, you were loved, you were winning at life. And by the way, go to Morning Mantra Pod, one word, Morning Mantra Pod on Instagram. My my podcast has an Instagram, do da, do da, and it's pretty cool. Really? Your butt is getting some money's worth. That's awesome. Stealing a moment to see you before the Superman comes back downstairs. Yay! Happy, um, happy anniversary, Gretchen. We're, I'm glad you tuned in, despite the fact that you were doing something really awesome to celebrate your two-year anniversary. Okay, well then you need to come here and ask me and not yell through the room. And I need to hear a please, and I need to hear an actual request as opposed to a demand. Right there. It's ripping. What's ripping? The skin? Okay, go sit in the kitchen and I'll be right there. Everyone has a boo-boo. My brain has a boo-boo and so does my heart. So there you go. That's all I have to say about tonight. Your coach, your loved, go win at Tuesday. And if I don't see you Wednesday night, I will see you as soon as possible.